and he also led a very luxurious life. He had gotten married to a maid in Ashdown. One day, the prince had heard of a beautiful park and begged his father to let him visit it. All this rare and important outing, Prince Siddhartha had a faithful charioteer, Chandaka, who accompanied him. As he was riding through the city, Prince Siddhartha saw before him a very old man. What happened to this man? Why can't he walk upright? Why is his hair grey? Why isn't it black like ours? Why has he no teeth? Tell me, Chandaka. He is a man, an old man. Once he was young and strong, with black hair and strong white teeth. Now he is old. One day we will be like him too. Is there a way to stop old age? No. Everyone, even the beautiful, the strong, and the courageous, will become old one day. With such a sight before their eyes, people are not the same. The prince moved on and saw a thick blue man. <laughs> What's wrong with this man? Sickness comes to any man at any time. We too can become sick. No one is continuously in good health. It's natural to be sick. Is there no cure? A cure is possible, but a man may become sick again and again. How ignorant are men who enjoy themselves in the shadow of sickness? The prince moved on and saw a funeral procession. <laughs> Those men in Shandaka, what are they doing? Why is that man lying so stiff and unmoving? That man cannot move. He cannot speak or cry or breathe. He is dead. Is this death? Can it also happen to everyone? Yes, my lord. Everyone must die one day. We will die too. Can we stop death? No. This is the end for all men, and yet people are not afraid and take no notice of death. The prince was very disturbed as his mind was filled with the problem of old age, sickness, and death. Suddenly, he saw an ascetic who appeared very healthy. Who are you? I am an ascetic who has left home in search of the solutions to the problems of old age, sickness, and death. Now I have no permanent home. I take shelter under a tree or in a deserted temple. I live on food given by the people. The prince remained quiet, but in his mind was the wish to be like this happy ascetic. These four sights had given him a new insight into the meaning of life. The luxuries of the palace did not attract him anymore. He left the palace in order to find a way to the end of suffering. 